Hello, Libra. Welcome to your career reading with Angelic Ascensions. I hope all is well with you guys, Libra. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Libra, this video may be for you if you have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or if you happen to be cross-watching for a Libra. Welcome to my channel. Let's get into it. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Libra with it when it comes to their career, Holy Spirit. Libra. Oh, Libra. Your commitment to your path is being tested, Libra. Okay, because it looks like you've been up against some type of obstacles and challenges. And you're definitely wanting to lay a very firm foundation with yourself, but it looks for your career and for your family. So it looks like family is definitely a central focus for you at this period of time. Um, I do feel that you've been faced with a complex decision. And you could definitely be going against the grain. You could definitely be kind of resisting some type of change because that brings us to the overall energy of your reading, which is talking about regeneration, death, and rebirth. This could even be something that's going on in a relationship around you, a relationship significant to your life. Someone surrounding you, you may be reuniting or there may be a resurgence of a relationship with somewhere around you. But for some of you, there may be something that you're putting off, delaying, letting go. And it looks like there's a new beginning coming in for you. It looks like you've got a lot of choices and decisions to make. And it looks like there was a tough cycle that you've been through. And it looks like that may be coming to an end with you making a decision to walk away and show the world the real you. Confidence is definitely going to be the key to some type of success that you have. I'm saying moderation is going to be necessary for you. It's going to be very beneficial for you. You could definitely be cutting back on some type of addictions or vices. Um, yeah, you're going to be weighing your options. You're going to be focused on health in this period of time. You could be working on some type of a project. I see a successful completion of it. Definitely see good news coming your way. And I do see that there could be delays that you've been faced with that could be rather discouraging for you, Libra. Um, but I do see that coming to an end and I do see an, an exciting new opportunity coming in. Some of you Libras could have made it through a very dangerous encounter. You could have made it through a very dangerous encounter unscathed. It's, I mean, you're, you're, you're living to tell the situation you're here, right? So I feel like some of you could have attended a deathbed for bereavement. You could definitely be grieving something, someone, some type of news that you may have gotten. I feel that some of you Libras may be kind of ignore, ignoring your intuition. You could be turning to a friend or a guide to help you with something. If this isn't the case, then I feel like that's, that's going to be something that's beneficial for you. I do see success and recognition for a job well done is coming in for you. But Spirit is definitely encouraging you to make sure that you tame the desire to meet with opposition in a um, combative way. Make sure that you're even keel in this period of time. Don't be tempted to be thrown off. This is the time to stand proud and to let a leadership role unfold ahead of you. And Spirit is saying, use your discernment and your fortitude to achieve a goal of yours. It's going to be take, it's going to take you getting grounded and centered, something related to your, your throat chakra. So I feel like there's something that you want to say, but maybe you feel a bit choked up. You feel maybe a bit intimidated to say something that's on your heart. Uh, sacral chakra is here. So I feel like you're going to be balancing. You're going to get rooted and balanced with something. And then I see your third eye. It looks like something maybe related to spirituality or something that you that that you're not seeing right we're not talking about these eyes but there's something that you're not seeing with your third eye something that maybe you are being directed to see but you're not seeing crossing energy to your reading at this time libra is letting go you're having a difficult time letting go of what things are familiar to you That's what this death and rebirth is about. Time to shed away the old and embrace the new chapters in your life. I feel like you could definitely be collaborating. 
with some people around you to bring something into fruition. It's a star. So far, I see Leo and Aquarius. Could be significant to your situation. Yeah, something came unglued with a family situation. There's this Ten of Cups situation that went all wrong in some area of your life that could definitely be having you feeling a bit distracted at work. Libra, yeah. Maybe something with your mom or the mother of your child could be significant. I feel like Libra... You could definitely be very absolutely amazing at something. You may have a very positive, I don't know, a very strong skill with something. So you could definitely work in the beauty industry or in an industry where, I don't know, where your looks could be very significant. You're feeling rejected. Libra, you might be worried about your money situation, your home situation. You're definitely thinking about expansion. You're thinking about the future. There's something that could be causing you to shift and think about the future, right? Like I said, you're trying to lay a very firm foundation. And it looks like you're going to find a very logical approach with this. Um, there may be someone that you wanted to be honest with. You may want to come clean with someone, to somebody about something. Libra with work, Holy Spirit. We're going through a death in Libra. Okay, did you guys overspend? Did you guys not budget your money? Some of you are worried about money for a roof over your head. I see that you're being, you're admired by people in your community, in your environment where you work. You got people that look up to you, people that may go to you for advice. There has been some type of delay that has you questioning the future, that has you questioning whether or not there's gonna be success on the way. Because there may be something that you have kind of turned a blind eye to, Libra, when it comes to your career. Right now, maybe you are kind of pulling away from the energy of other people because there could definitely be people in your um, circle, in your atmosphere that are very competitive, kind of petty. People that want to kind of um, test your, to test you, try to push your buttons. But there's still a decision that you haven't made, a decision that you might be on the fence about, and that would be to end a contract that you are currently under. And maybe focus on your own self, focus on your own business, focus on your own profit. Because it looks like right now, Libra, you're kind of going through the motions not really happy with what it is that you do and there's something that you would like to do better no i see a love relationship also that that's very significant like i said you're feeling very distracted by your love life possibly it looks like you're headed toward a new beginning but what is this that okay Yes, you want to do something where you're recognized for your hard work, where you're appreciated for what it is that you bring to the table. But right now, there's something, there's some type of a delay, something that you're trying to get off your mind. Ah, oh, see, that's what I mean. You are distracted by your love life right now. It's like this is something that you're trying to put in on the back burner. You're saying, I don't want to think about this. I don't want to think about how hurt I really am when it comes to somebody I really care about. Okay. It looks like something is over. You may decide to walk away, but be sure that, I don't know, some of you Libras might be tempted to get into a, a fight with the people that you work with. And there could definitely be a blow up over some petty words, some petty conflict, a difference of opinion. Like I said, somebody is there to kind of push your buttons, Libra. But it looks like if something has ended and something may have ended abruptly, it looks like something better is coming along. Some type of change after a delay. After there's been a period of delay, uh, a period of time of not seeing any type of positive thing coming in, it looks like you're going to see some good news finally coming, coming in regarding your work. 
Okay, it looks like you're gonna be putting in a lot of dedication, a lot of effort. You could definitely be going to school, maybe sharpening a skill or two. To, to regain this confidence that maybe you feel like you lost towards something. Yeah, there's something that you have your, your eyes set on and it, it has something to do with a past situation. A lot of this has to do with the past where maybe you're living in the past, focused on the past, things that didn't go right, things that didn't go well. You're worried about failure more so than you're worried about success, Libra. It's like you, there's something that you want to try, but you, you fear that you're going to fail. Something that's going to require you to move on from what it is that you're currently doing. There's also someone that you're fixated on. This would be an ex of yours, possibly a Cancerian or someone with Cancer or Virgo in their chart. And it looks to me that, um, yeah, this is what you're distracted by because maybe you and this individual, maybe you haven't been getting along or you, you're not. You are separated from this person because you guys were not able to see eye to eye. So what are you going to do? Yeah, you're... <clears throat> You're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck at your job. You're feeling like you can't leave. You might be tempted to leave and blow up and, and say I quit, but I'm feeling like you, you feel like you're bound to the situation due to obligation, due to your financial obligations. And then some of you, you got child support to pay, responsibilities to take care of. Okay, so there's an ending. Yeah, it's like you're, you're, you're making a final decision to end a contract to let something go. And it's like you're saying, I don't have the clarity that I need to make this decision, but it's telling me that you're kind of tired of the disrespect that goes on at the job. Some of you, you could have a third party going on at work. You might be cheating with somebody. It looks like maybe you haven't ended one relationship and you may be starting a new one, okay? But it looks like you are putting your foot down to make a final decision about that. Now with work, yeah, you don't see a future here. You don't see any longevity. You don't really see this. You don't see yourself doing this for the long term. You feel that you're underpaid. And yeah, you, you are selling, telling yourself in your quiet moments that it's time to leave this situation and to pursue something completely different. And it looks to me that the opportunity may come up. You may be the recipient of some type of message or good news that allows you to kind of walk away and to do something else where you feel like you're in control, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. But right now, you're kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul. Your financial situation is good one minute down the next. Maybe, like, I, like I said, you may not be budgeting your money. Yeah, and that could be something that you're having some regrets about. It looks like Libra, you might be kind of we were talking about in the beginning, talking about moderations and vices and addictions. Yeah, this is, it looks like somebody might, you might be drinking to cope with the pressures that you're dealing with in, in your life right now. Not having your family, feeling like your home life is topsy-turvy, where you feel like you're living from pillar to post. I got something similar like that for the Virgo, for the all signs reading, where you're kind of moving from place to place. And that might be you right now, Libra. You may have Virgo in your chart, or you may have a Virgo or an Aries that's close to you. I see Gemini as well. Yeah. Yeah, see that? Somebody may have been lying on you. Somebody may have lied, spread gossip, spread some type of vile rumor, vital rumor at work. Maybe to the boss. Maybe some of you had a love affair going on with your boss. Maybe you did feel like there was a future. Or maybe you were dealing with somebody that was younger than you at work, Libra. Maybe you did feel like it was time to kind of roam around, even though you have a commitment already. Like I said, you hadn't ended one relationship before you started another one. And maybe that situation kind of got you in over your head. And maybe that's what has you distracted at work. And has you feeling like you're about to lose your top, like you're about to lose your cool. If this is something that happened already, yeah, I'm saying you're really worried about money. But at the same time, Libra, I'm saying that you're very in love with somebody. 
Someone may see you as an opportunist. Maybe you see someone as an opportunist. Somebody that just kind of capitalized on you financially. And right now you are kind of feeling a bit empty. You're not feeling like yourself. You're not feeling very confident right now. And you're not, your self-esteem is a bit down. <laughs> I feel like it has a lot to do with this love relationship. And so because I'm picking up love so much and we're talking about work, yes, I feel like you might work with somebody that you had a relationship. This might be a work relationship, like a work love type of relationship. It looks like you may get some type of good news, some type of communication that you've been waiting for. Where there has been a delay, it looks like there may be a change in plans or a need to kind of step back and reevaluate the situation and look at it differently. And once you do, it looks like you're going to be able to, um, to do what? <laughs> what are you going to be able to do, Libra? This is you, yeah. Ending a situation where you feel that you're unhappy with, you're bored with. And it looks like you're going to feel like you have the ability to master the things that you want. To get this master and this ability over this state of mind right now where you feel like things are topsy-turvy and unsteady. It looks like there's a friendship that you want to restore. This could even be with somebody at work that you're wanting to restore a friendship with, somebody that you miss. It looks like your kids, your family is definitely on your mind, Libra. But I feel that there is some type of action that you're wanting to take as far as your career. Some major career moves that you're going to have that's going to require some courage and dedication. But it's going to require you to walk away from this situation, the things that you feel, like I said, are familiar to you. Things that are, it's time to like kind of move beyond your comfort zone, Libra. Yeah, you are in love. You are in love. Libra, you may be in love with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Victory. Are you worried about a court decision? You're worried about child support. There are envious people around you. Yeah, you're going to be getting some type of good news about a new contract. You're going to realize that, yeah, you do have other doors or possibilities that you could go toward. But it's going to require you to get balanced and get centered. Remember, we're talking about your chakras kind of being out of alignment. Meditation is going to do wonders for you, Libra. But yeah, right now you are worried about money, trying to... Keep it together financially. And it looks like you are trying to nurse a broken heart. I feel like you're going to think of a plan. You're going to think out a strategy to move to the next opportunity. I see people around you, right? We're, we're talking about support systems, admirers, people that want the best for you. I see people being that way for you, helping you with something. Definitely feel that it's time to take action on something. And somewhere where you feel that you faltered, that you may have told a lie about. Libra, I definitely feel like you're wanting to come clean to restore some type of a relationship. If it's a relationship with a family member, a friend, your child, a loved, somebody that you absolutely love, yes. You might be wanting to go see them. You might be led to go and see them. And this feeling led to go see this person is absolutely divinely guided. As well as you closing a chapter and opening a new one. Yes, you are being divinely led. And where you kind of feel like you're in the dark about things, I'm saying that you're going to have this light that's going to be shed for you to help you walk this new path where it doesn't seem so daunting and so fear-filled. Yeah, it's time to open that crown chakra. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of downloads through your crown chakra. It's time to follow your gut feeling about things. Yes, it's saying it's time to let go of everything that's comfortable and familiar. And it's time to start something completely new. So that's something completely fresh. For some of you, this means starting your own business or working independently. Doing something on the road less traveled. Something that 
a lot of people don't dare to do but this is you being a natural born leader so we were talking i didn't say this but i thought it mentally cardinal signs because i see a cardinal here a cardinal a bird cardinal could be significant to you or you could be dealing with a cardinal sign such as yourself libra so we did see aries that would be a cardinal sign i didn't mention, mention cancer capricorn would be the other cardinal sign so that's libra aries capricorn and cancer that you could be dealing with in their sun moon arising but either way virgo this is you but I see somebody stepping in to play a supportive role with you. This could be the very person that you're collaborating with, with a business idea or a business proposal, maybe brainstorming on how to bring something about how to strategize and make these career moves. This could even be an advisor. Yeah. At work with a work proposition. Again, like I stated, maybe going into business for yourself and it looks like there's profit made from some type of business move once you take action on something and you're no longer on the fence and you find the courage to move forward yeah i feel like that's when you're going to see this situation become unblocked where you feel that something is unblocked yeah meditation getting grounded and getting away from the energy of other people to kind of not to kind of but to tune in to your intuition and to listen to the energy of your guides that are trying to bring you some type of message and clarity. Or you have this fear that you're going to fall flat on your face, Libra. You may not. You may turn out to be, it may turn out to be a complete success, but you'll never know unless you try. This is you being the magician, manifesting and co-creating the type of future that you want. And it looks like you're feeling very fulfilled with that, with that decision to do so, Libra. So let's see, Holy Spirit, what does Libra need to do? Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. The soundtrack of your life. What you give your attention to shapes your experience of life. Turn down the volume of the world's disharmony and choose to listen to what gives you joy. Once again, we're talking about disconnecting from mass consciousness, getting grounded, changing your mind frame, getting around people that are like-minded, people that want success, people that are hungry for success, not people that are all about petty conflict and drama. Yeah, it may require you to change, like I said, the energy of the people that are around you and if it's not that then it's the energy of yourself you definitely benefit from going on some type of a cleanse whether this is detoxing or this is physically detoxing from certain people maybe even um, going to the beach or spending time with children to restore some type of balance within yourself Libra, because it definitely looks like you're you're a leader of something or you're taking on some type of leadership role. Something that you were born to do. You were a natural born leader. And I feel like this is something, this is your challenge at this time to figure out whether or not this is absolutely the time to leave something behind, the mundane behind and do something, like I said, along the road less traveled. And that road is less traveled out of fear out of no not wanting to be different or yeah fear-based thoughts i feel like you're a light worker of some type libra and the opportunity is going to present itself i feel some of you libras could definitely be finding out that you're becoming a father be news of being be uh finding out that there's a baby, a child on the way. Or some of you Libras, you already are fathers, mothers. Yeah. Time to show the world the real you, Libra. And confidence is going to be the key to your success moving forward. Time to get rid of self-doubt. That's what I see for you, Libra. Let's move on to, to, yeah. That's what I see for Libras in this point in time for career. Libra, I hope that this reading helped. 
If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can head over to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. Leave a thumbs up below this video if you feel that it helped. Feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you can get the videos when I upload. Take good care. Peace, Libras. I'll see you guys in the next video.